this is one of the more difficult things to comprehend, to feel, to understand. And this is, nobody cares about you. Everybody is focused on themselves. And they're thinking about just themselves. And this lesson is repeatedly taught to me over and over and over again. Whether it is, you know, me trying to build this platform, whether it is, you know, doing a podcast with probably one of the biggest luminaries of of culture, of science, whether it is, um, you know, even having conversations with other people. The basic premise you have to realize is that everybody is caught up in themselves. And when you're doing something that you're super excited about and you think actually matters, you think is going to make a difference, whether it's writing a book, whether it is making a paper, I don't know, whether it doesn't matter whether you're creating a new business, you have to come to this premise. And nobody cares. And it's kind of a life lesson that you you kinda you kinda get to. And you know the question is then, how do you get people to care? What is it that actually resonate with other people? And and ultimately there's not really I don't think that there's like this recipe. And I'm not gonna tell you that. Um so you're following along me. I'm taking a walk right now, and um, you're hearing crinkling. I'm very open with everything. Um, I'm picking up my dog's poop. <laughs> I know some of you are going to be turned off from that, but this is my life. Um, and I try to do that with, with everything. It's just, hey, this is my life. This is who I am. And, and I think, so, you know, how do you get people to care? Um, to get people to care, you often have to, you know, first of all, you have to see what you're doing. Um, and most people are not going to quote unquote see what you're doing. They're not going to, you know, I've got probably at this point hundreds of millions, probably a hundred million people have seen me at one point online with different impressions and things like that. And most people don't care, right? They're not going to see or understand or make sense of who you are and what you're about. It doesn't make sense to them. And it doesn't click with them. And it doesn't, it's it's just not relevant in any sort of way. And if you're thinking about, you know, statistically, what might that actually look like? You're probably looking at 99.9% of anybody that ever sees you is not going to care. They're going to just kind of walk by. I mean, imagine you're a store in New York City. The majority, the vast majority, just walk by that store. And nobody cares about it. Now, what gets people sort of in the door? I think the biggest way, the most influential way, the thing that actually really matters is having having somebody actually mention or talking this idea of sort of social influence, but it's, this social influence is more about like, hey, um, let's just talk to your friends. Let's just talk to your, you know, what does your 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 parents say um, in terms of what to do? And if somebody just says well, that is a good restaurant then somebody might walk into that store and that means, um, they'll actually walk into the store, they'll go in. Now, that doesn't happen that often, right? That's not necessarily something that's easy. How do you get people to actually in or think about that? So, first of all, for most people, even if they go into your store, even if they do anything, 
um, they're not going to care. They're not going to get it. But if there is a moment where that person resonates with what you're doing in some sort of way, I like that sort of terminology, resonating, because it's essentially what it is. And how do you get people to resonate with what you're doing? You actually smile. You do things that are helpful. You do things like kind of going out of your way. You do things that are unique and different. I'm telling you right now about you know picking up this book and just doing it, trying to turn it off. Everybody else is thinking about, and also people that have dogs are going to make sense of this. It's like, hey, you know, I got people that have pets going to be there, resonate with what you're doing. And I think, you know, how do you actually do that? How do you make where this actually works? Because Secret recipe in any sort of way. I don't think that, you know, do I think some people are better at, at sort of disappointing so that they know the, the recipe is just getting back up and doing it again and finding something that resonates? And I can, you know, how do I actually do that myself? that I view the world is pretty nerdy. It's pretty, pretty like, most people don't care. Um, you know, when I, when I interview the science, uh, somebody that's, that's really making a difference in science, or and they're just an ordinary person, they talk in ordinary ways, I'm super excited about actually talking to them. And everybody else does not care. They don't get it. So, what do you look for? Right? What do you do? You look to see where people are actually resonating with what you're saying. You know, fortunately, we actually have an infrastructure now where you can do that online. Um, and you can see data where people are resonating and things like that. But, you know, in general, it's kind of a, it's a social circle where you're sort of picking up on things to see what is it that people actually like, how do they feel. Um, and, you know, if you're like me, if you take a many years to see this, many years to figure this out, I still have a lot of pain. Um, experiences even today. So, you know, how do you get people to care? First of all, I think you get caught up being just okay with people walking by. And that's okay. That's, that's what we are. That's what we're about. And you gotta let them walk by. And it's crushing when you have a baby that you're super proud about. You want to just like scream to the world. Right, like, like you wrote, you wrote a paper, for example, you were super excited, or you created a website, you are very excited, and you scream to the world, it's amazing. You know, that doesn't happen. People are going to be like this nice. <laughs> so, you know what, if you go back to the story of you have a baby, like a genuine baby, and you want to get people to care. The baby's pretty, but it doesn't really, like, people just don't care. It's just kind of sitting there. But if you hold and work and teach and you help that kid along until maybe they become leader of, of the world or leader of something, then you can have that conversation. And perhaps people will 
here. And here's the, the challenging part that I think everybody should sort of think about in terms of questioning whether you should take Thank <laughs> you. 